Welcome along to the 10th video in our series here where we are creating a four bedroom house in Autodesk Revit. What we're going to do in this video now that we've finished designing our house is we're going to annotate our house plans and that basically means just putting the name of each room onto our plan and putting in some dimensions as well. So to put some text on our page we need to go up to the annotate tab at the top and we need to choose text. And from here you can choose the size of your text. Usually Arial 3.5 is good, but we're going to struggle to fit that um, size text into our house plan. So I'm just going to drop it back to Arial 1.5 mil. And you need to have caps lock turned on because we're going to be writing in capitals. So let's start at the back here. We've got the deck out here. So just click once on there and in capital letters write deck. And then we're going to be coming into the lounge room. So let's write lounge. Over here we've got the dining room, obviously down here is the kitchen. This here is the butler's pantry, but we don't need to um, write butler's pantry, we just need to write the word pantry. So I'm just going to write pantry, and I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see what I do here. I'm going to grab my modify arrow at the top, and click on this and give it a rotate. So it's sitting vertically, I'm just going to move it down inside the pantry like so. And we're going to do something similar for the linen. So we've got two linen cupboards I guess um, in our house. We've got one just here and one over near the ensuite of the master bedroom. It's really just storage space. We've got some cupboards for storage. All right, let's um, keep going. We'll grab the text again. We've got over here bed two, bed three, which obviously stands for bedroom, and there's bed four. Down in this little room, we've got the WC, which stands for water closet, which is another name for toilet. Um, in here, we've got the bathroom. Obviously, here we've got our double garage. hallway, um, up here we've got the other linen room I was talking about, in here we've got the walk-in robe, so let's call it WIR for short, this is the main bedroom, so bed one, this is the ensuite, so short and ensuite to ENS, and up here we've got the um, laundry, so again we'll shorten laundry to LDRY. Feel free to grab your arrows there and just move these around as need be so they're all readable. So zooming out now, I think I've labelled each part of our house. Um, don't think I've missed anything. There's probably a hallway here that we've missed, so I guess we can put that in as well. Just write a hallway. So two hallways in the house. Thank you, Doke. So that looks pretty good. The next thing we need to do now is we need to start dimensioning the outside of the house. So what we're going to do is grab the linear dimension tool here. We're simply going to click on this outside corner, and then go down and click on this outside corner, and then drag out. You can see we've got the dimensions for the outside of the house. Okay, do the same down here, click on this left corner, click on this right corner, bring it down, drop in dimensions, we'll do the top one up here, corner, and corner, good, um, away from here, up to the top of the deck, We'll stretch that out too. I probably should have gone all the way across up here, so I might just delete that top one by clicking on it and pressing delete. We'll do another linear line that goes from the top of the deck right over to that top right corner. There we go. So she's a big house. They are the outside walls there being dimensioned. What we need to do now is break it down and try and dimension each of the rooms, which can be a little bit tricky. Um, it does take a while to get this done. I'll just do a couple of rooms and you can finish off doing the rest yourself. Might do the bedrooms down here. They're quite simple to start with. 
Alrighty, so let's pop up to the Annotate tab at the top and select our Linear Dimension tool. Now we want to go from the inside of each wall. So I'm going to start in this little corner here. Come across and click on the inside of this wall over here. Drag down. We've got a dimension of 3420. I'm going to click on this inside wall just here. And click on the inside corner up here. And we get 2840. So that's our dimensions right there. Okay, so in this little bed 2 caption, just double click on it, we're going to add them in. It's going to be 3420 by 2840. Alrighty, and then you can just click out of that and delete those two dimensions you put in. We're just going to leave it written inside this caption here. Now when you click on this caption with your modify arrow here, you can center align it, which probably looks a little bit neater. So just center that text and stick it somewhere in there. Do the same down here for bedroom number three. Should be pretty similar dimensions. So in the annotate tab, grab your aligned, no, your linear, sorry, linear dimension tool. Click on the corner, click on the corner, 3420, corner, corner, 2840. There we go, exactly the same as the one above, which is what I was expecting. So 3420 by 2840. And grab your modify tool and delete those two dimensions we put in. Move that down in the middle of the bed and center align it. Okay, so that's how we do those two rooms. Easy enough to go and do the bath, change room here, ah, sorry, the toilet there, the other bedroom, whatnot. Those square rooms are quite easy to do. A tricky one that you might get stuck with is something like this big area here. So how do we do this? Okay, what we're going to do is just do it in one big hit. Okay, so you don't have to break up these little bits down here or the kitchen into one section. Let's just do this whole room in one go. So we'll grab our linear dimension tool, click on this top left corner, go to the top right corner. That gives us 7120. And then we'll click on this bottom left corner and then the top left corner. That gives us 60 by 40. And we'll just write it into the lounge room caption here. So double click in lounge, underneath that we'll write 7120 by 6040. Click out of it and just center that text, delete the two dimensions you put in. And now we've got the dimensions for that whole living area just there. Okay, so hopefully you get the idea. It's pretty straightforward. Just go around each room, getting the um, length and the height. And when you are all done, you've pretty much finished. So I'll come back in one final tutorial where I'm going to show you how to print out your designs or your house plans.